Hi guys, it's Marianne and I am here to share with you a quick camping haul as well. Talk about a camping binder. I know on this channel we typically do lots of vlogs and that type of thing, but we're getting ready to um, have a whole playlist with all kinds of camping things. I wanted to pop on here really quickly and just share some of our camping supplies um, that we already have and our hauls. So that way when people are looking for camping ideas and you're looking for camping ideas, you can just kind of go into one playlist and then it will show our camping vlogs too. So thought I'd do that on here versus the other channel where I do more crafty stuff on it. So this binder is a great idea. Actually, our tent looks just like this. If you follow us on Instagram, you have seen this tent. Um, this binder idea came from Pinterest because um, I started writing down stuff and, you know, as I saw these videos that people post like this on, on Pinterest, Instagram, wherever, and I was like, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. And then I had all these little pieces of paper that I needed to put together somewhere. So then I saw on Pinterest that somebody actually had a binder. So I thought that was a great idea. So in the very front of the binder, I had like a camping um, checklist I had printed off from... Who's the website is this from? The Happy Camper, I believe. Oh, TakeThemOutside.com. That's where it's from. So um, she has a list, and you can kind of add your things on there um, that you want. And this is tent camping, by the way. And then also she had this list here, what I thought was really neat. It's like a um, packing list for each person. So, you know, it's three of us, three humans in this family. So we have our packing list there. And then behind it, which I'm not going to show because it's personal information, all these extra pages that I have in here are all the printouts from all the other camping trips that we have already planned. So I went ahead and print out the receipt, the um, reservation, our campsite, all those things. So when we pull up there, we know exactly where we're going to stay at. We know the directions. Everything is kind of like in that one spot because some locations don't always have great reception and if you can't pull out your receipt or if they don't have it in their system or whatever any issue that happened you can say bam i have my stuff so that's kind of that so let's get into the camping haul from the dollar store obviously everything's a dollar so let's i'm just going to pull stuff out of the bag there's no order so this bag here i found would be great to put his sand toys in not just for camping but just when we go to our lake plays in general because that way all those toys are not dirty up our bed. I can kind of shake it, the sand falls out. And I like that the bottom is solid because again, it kind of all the junk, junk and sand and dirt and rocks kind of stay in the bottom here and I can easily dump it out and clean it or what have you. And so I thought this was perfect for his little sand toys that we have. And that way it will kind of limit because I feel like when I bring my big bag, I try to fill it all up. But with this one, I can say, you know what? What doesn't fit in this bag doesn't go. So that, of course, was a dollar. I got these toothbrush holders um, to cover our toothbrush up because the ones we had were broken. I bought this um, laundry bag for laundry, um, but you people use this to hang, put their um, clean dishes in. I actually have a collapsible bin, and that'll be another video that I'll post later about my kitchen bin for tent camping, but I actually plan on using this for an actual laundry bin. When we went to the mountains, we used a trash bag, which was fine, but I don't want to waste our trash bags for that. I bought this because I found um, that all my dishcloths that I've had um, never really had a place to be. So I thought this would be great to put all the clean dishcloths in, and that way as things get dirty, we can just throw it in the big bin with the clothes and stuff. And this is something that I will keep in the car because I don't want my tent to be funky or smelly. And if you're eating food and stuff, you don't want your clothes that smell like food and stuff sitting inside your tent for all the beloved animals to come and snack on you. But anywho, but this, I thought this would be good to put the um, cloth and stuff in. I actually thought about buying this, another one for the dishes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I only bought one, but I'm, I'm gonna see, we'll see. I don't know. Um, picnic tablecloths, I bought um, some football picnic cloths years ago for my son's first birthday. Scrubbers, one's gonna stay home and one's gonna go, is going to go with us to camping. This is for the cast iron skillet to help get junk out. And a smaller hand sanitizer. Um, now we're in a season where we can find stuff like this. But 
we have these really big bottles and the pumps, but I didn't want to bring uh, one of those pumps. I was going to get a clear little bottle and put it inside there. But when I saw this, I said, it's perfect. Let's grab this and I can just refill this one over again. So that's that. And in here, I have a mat. I plan on putting this on the inside of the tent. So as you walk in, you have a spot to take your shoes off, wipe your feet before you kind of go all into the tent. And it's small enough where you can fold up into our camping bin and I can just like shake it off outside. And it's just kind of help with dirt and stuff. This bacon dish, I don't plan on using it for bacon, but I thought it would be great like after we cook our food, we have a place to kind of put the food um, versus using a bunch of our dishes for that. And also I was wondering, it may even be cool to flat and try to cook on it on the actual camp stove, which I will show you what that looks like in another video. This bin here, I'm not gonna take out the plastic, but you can see how it, um, it folds up. I thought this would be great for our shoes. So um, we're just gonna have, like when you, this right beside that mat that I just showed you, have this sitting inside the tent. We um, come in, take your shoes off, put them in a the bin. They're in one spot. And I like that it folds down completely. I know a lot of people use those hampers with the holes in it, but the dirt can go through there. And then there you have dirt on your tent versus just having all the dirt collected in one little spot. And I love that it's all collapsible. And I think this is the last thing. Yep, it is. The last thing. So the last thing is this tub. I already have two of them. And we used them for, um, a lot when we were camping in the mountains in our cabin. And I had soapy water and I had clean water. But I found that having maybe one more would be really helpful. Like the um, store items in. We have a camp kitchen, a um, GCI slim fold camp kitchen and it has those different little um, arms or tables that you can sit this on and we can put maybe our spices inside here we can put the towels or our clean washcloths in here i mean plates in here so i'm not digging the bin for the plates i can put them all inside here um, so many different things you can do with this um, we can batter fish and put it inside here seasoned chicken inside here um, all kinds of stuff. When I'm cutting up food, we can put it here. So I just thought it would just be helpful to have this one extra. And I love how small it is and it stacks easily. It's not super big and bulky inside the bin where it's going to take up that much more space. But that is it. That is my camping haul for the dollar store. I'm going to be having more coming up soon. I am going to show you what's in my camp kitchen bin. I am going to show you my tent. I'm going to do tours of my tent um, when it's all set up and I'm going to show you all those good things. If you buy something from the grocery, from the grocery store, from the dollar store for your camping trips, leave them in the comments below. I want to know what you get so I can make sure I'm getting the right things. So Thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful and beautiful day and I will talk to you later.